my darlings and welcome to a brand new vlog. <gasps> Look at that glow of sunshine appearing on my face. Mm. Oh my goodness. It feels like it is so, so very overdue. There is no surprise as to what I'm going to get up to this morning. I'm about to head into the greenhouse. It is the middle of March now, pretty much. Give or take a few days, which means it is time to start sowing the tomatoes, which is very exciting indeed. If you watched the end of the last vlog, you'll know that I went to the Burford Garden Company and may or may not have picked up a few more seeds. I can't help it. I love buying seeds. I love growing unusual vegetables. But um, that is what I'm going to spend the next couple of hours doing. So far this morning, you've not missed too much. I went over to Bamford. I actually did a 90 minute yoga this morning because I couldn't get on the Reformer Pilates class. The classes, honestly, I think people must, as soon as the classes go live, which they do at 7 p.m. the evening, two weeks in advance, I think people must have their alarm set to like book the classes at the moment because I just can't get on anything. In fact, I'm going to join the alarm brigade and I'm going to I'm going to set an alarm on my phone for seven o'clock every evening so I can actually get on the best classes. Um, but yeah, 90 minute yoga I did instead of my Saturday reformer and it was literally full body, including your eyes. I have never done yoga with my eyes before. There were loads of different activities or like exercises, I should say, where you had to like hold your eyes open really wide. Um, and then you were doing like following, he would say like a number on a clock, like 12, three, six, nine, and you had to move your eyes to that number. Um, and actually by the time we'd done like three minutes of this, I felt like my eye muscles had been well and truly worked out. I've, I've never felt that sensation before. Um, so let me know down below if you've ever done eye yoga. <laughs> it was only like five minutes of the class um, before we did everything else, but it was interesting, very interesting. Made myself a nice um, oak smoked cheddar and spinach omelette, which was scrummy with my microgreens. You guys know the drill. Um, and now fully togged up. I've got double, actually triple Holland Cooper on to go out into the greenhouse. Dry shampoo, hair in a pony kind of day. I was actually going to wash it today, this morning, um, but I thought I'd rather spend more time in the garden. So there we go. That is the, um, that's the 411. That's where we're at so far. The sausages are sunbathing. The forecast on the iPhone just said wind, um, but it's windy and mostly blue sky, which is rather glorious. I don't know if I'll need it, but I'm gonna take my barber out. Are you going to help me, maybe? Are you going to help your mummy? Come on then. Ash on the Lupin update, it seems to be doing a good job. We've got some new ones that are coming up and they don't appear to have been slug eaten. So that was a great little hack that I shared um, a week or so ago. This is exciting. These will be the first of my um, tulip bulbs that we planted last September, October, that are going to be blooming very soon, maybe even in the next couple of days. Ah yes, I have lots of potting to do. In fact, maybe I'll do this first. Um, all of these bits that I picked up in the Burford Garden Company yesterday, they all need potting. I have got these pots which will be spare. Unfortunately, my pelagoniums did not survive the really cold uh, January that we had. So I need to remove those, sadly, and I'll put the pots to good use. And this is what we're going to be potting up. So I've got some beautiful ranunculus, a what do you call it sexy fraja we've got a hellebore some little prims some finca uh yes so let's get started Okay, so this is going to be something that I've really started to enjoy doing lately, which are these medley bowls. And it actually doesn't have any drainage in it, so it's ideal just for, whoops. Um, <laughs> it's ideal for indoors because you're not gonna have to worry about any water coming out the bottom. I'm gonna be filling it with this beautiful, oh my gosh, stay still. This beautiful vinca which has got a gorgeous purple flower. That's probably gonna sit at the back here. I'm gonna do a little bit of symmetry with these two prims, these lovely pink, very optimistic colored blooms. 
And then just for a little bit of variety and long lastingness, I'm gonna add a mascari at the front here. Now these have not yet bloomed. In fact, I'm gonna turn this one around because we've got one that's ready to go out the side there. So this is just that nice little bit of optimism. You know something's gonna be coming up very soon and mascari are just so pretty, such perfect spring colors. So I'm just giving everything a wiggle, settling it in, spreading out the soil a bit. And then I'll just fill in the gaps. Okay, so everything is now in its place and I'm going to fill in the gaps of soil with my moss. This is the same collection of moss that we foraged last week. It's actually surviving really well, just picking up any of the drips from when I'm watering the plants in the greenhouse. And it just makes your little bowls look so much more professional and keeps the water in. There we go, we've got all of the moss um, just tucked around the plants. I'm gonna pop this outside and give it a little water, let the water soak in, and then it's done. What a lovely little homemade DIY Mother's Day gift. And this will of course last one heck of a lot longer than a bunch of flowers. We have got Lilla a bunch of flowers as well, but this I think will just be the loveliest table centerpiece for her dining room. <laughs> croissant break and my next job is to prick out my pak choy so that's when you very carefully grab one of the little seedlings by the leaves and very very gently pull it so that you get the roots out as well and then basically I like to use a sharpie make quite a deep hole in a new pot and then place the little seedlings so that just the leaves are poking out inside that hole and then tuck it in and this will encourage it to grow big and strong here in the greenhouse. You might remember I did this last week for the Kalet, and now this week it's time to do the pak choy. productive couple of hours here in the greenhouse. I'll show you a few of the bits that I've done. So lots of the new flowers that I picked up from Burford are now potted up with some beautiful moss around the edges and they just look absolutely lovely, including this hellebore and this little ranunculus over here as well. Just makes them look so much more finished when they've got that moss down at the bottom. Then I have, as you saw, pricked out my pak choy. I've left a few in there and the good ones I have pricked out and popped them in these individual little um, pots. We have sown some salad leaves, some beetroot and some chard over here, some chickpeas over here, 
this one looks really lovely in a pot with the trailing leaves and I love the contrast in colour with the little white edges. I've tidied up the corner over here and then we've also got Dexter guarding my newly sown seeds, some new microgreens, some mange too, some more mange too, and then Dickens is guarding my selection of tomatoes, a sunrise a pink tiger, and a mango lassie. So I'm going to take these into the house where it's a little bit warmer and hopefully they will start to germinate. Good morning, my darlings. It's now Monday morning. I didn't film anything yesterday, which actually felt a bit unnatural. I seem to have got into a real habit of just filming everything, which I think I mentioned a few videos ago, I've been starting to feel not as comfortable with. I'm trying to give myself a few more days away from the camera. It really is just almost muscle memory, just filming everything. Um, but yeah, took yesterday off from filming. It was Mother's Day. We went down to Charlie's mum and dad's house and we had a really lovely family day. So today started with Reforma Pilates, of course, because it's Monday morning. And um, now I have got, um, I've actually got a very nice afternoon ahead, but I'm not going to do the whole index <laughs> of my day. I'm just going to, I'm just going to film it and you'll have to wait and see. But first thing this morning, so I've just added a few curls into my hair with very mixed success because yesterday I used a new conditioner and let's just say we're not friends. <laughs> I'm not friends with that conditioner. Most of it is still in my hair. So um, yeah, weird curls because you know when you just, actually that looks really good. <laughs> it's always the way, isn't it? Um, you know when you just don't feel like it's all out of your hair. So it feels a bit clacky. Clacky is the word I'm going to use, but on a brighter note, um, over the weekend I had a delivery for a mega, <laughs> mega Karen Millen order that I've placed. So I have some really lovely spring outfits to share with you. Starting off with what I'm wearing now, so without further ado, I'm going to do a gorgeous spring floral pastel coloured try on and I feel like that is the injection of optimism and spring that my wardrobe needs. I have popped on the O2 lipstick from the Kiko uh, Days in Bloom collection. I love this collection so much. This is literally my new favourite lipstick. Such a gorgeous colour for spring. I've got their eyeshadow palette on, I've got their blusher on, the bronzer on. I'm obsessed with this collection. And I have popped in a new pair of earrings to nod to the spring theme. And these are from Nice Cream London. They're just these sparkly little flowers and I adore them. So let's spin around and I'll show you some of these gorgeous outfits. Okay, so this is look number one. I'm gonna tuck in this absolutely gorgeous coloured um, jumper knit because what I really wanna show you actually is the skirt. Both pieces are from Karen Millen. Let's just <laughs> scoot my stool away. You may remember if you have watched um, or if you've seen my outfits for many years, one of the most worn things in my wardrobe is a skirt very similar to this, but it's actually woolen. And over the years, I've, I've probably had it for about eight years, I actually got that skirt when I used to work in Rees on the Barrett Street flagship store. Um, it's gone over the years a little bit bobbly, so when I saw this, which is almost identical, but it's not got the same amount of fluffiness to it, it's a little bit more of a thick, almost, it feels, I, do you know, I really don't know how to describe it, but it's a really thick material, very kind of holdy you inny kind of style, but just such an elegant A-line shape and length. And to me, this is the perfect spring outfit for like an Easter Sunday, Sunday roast, days with the family. It just feels lovely. It feels very feminine, very elegant, very timeless. The knit I absolutely adore, mostly because of this heavenly colour. Pastels for spring, groundbreaking I know, but something about this colour just really feels so optimistic. The unusual thing about it is that it's got a low back detail which kind of makes it feel a little bit like a ballerina's 
um, cardigan. If you ever used to do ballet when you were younger and you had these little crisscross cardigans, it reminds me of that. And quite a low scooping neckline, so nice if you've got just a little bit of jewellery to, um, to wear with it. But yeah, I absolutely adore this. We could go full Easter egg mini egg chic with a pastel coloured handbag as well. It's been a while since I bought my little Prada straw bag out. I actually once pitched to Freddie to swap bags with her because she's got the one which is the neutral straw. Um, is it neutral or is it white? I think it's neutral brownie straw with the white at the top here. Um, but now I, she said no. <laughs> but now I'm actually really glad to have got pink because this is a fun bag and it just, it elevates an outfit, it makes you smile. When I bought it, I remember thinking that's just really silly how expensive it is for that kind of bag when it's such a statement piece. But look at it, it's just wonderful and this will bring me joy for many, many, many years. I must have had this for five or six years, but these colours together I think are just absolutely fun. Easter mini egg orama. I will leave all of these pieces linked in the description box down below in case you're looking to add any little beauties into your spring wardrobe. So I have popped on just a little um, like crop top with the skirt and I actually think that it looks really nice for those maybe warmer days <laughs> but I wanted to try on this cute little jacket. I might even try it just flung across the shoulders. Now, I think, are they the same colour? They look the same colour. This is just so elegant. A little, little something over the shoulders. It's a really beautiful fabric. It's got the, this wonderful texture to it that I, I don't really know how to describe. It's super stretchy in every direction. Little buttons, really, really sweet. Um, and just so, so elegant to have a two-piece set. So this is how it looks worn over the shoulders and I actually really like that. I think it's nice to see a little bit more of the outfit underneath. It does have little shoulder pads in it which give it a really nice structure. Yeah, it is a matching set. I don't think I was 100% sure but now that I've got them on together I can see that it's very much a matching set. So if you wanted to go a little bit kind of vintage, is it a little bit Jackie O-esque? This is such an elegant little two-piece. Again, for an Easter day lunch. Um, this would just be absolutely gorgeous. If you, do you know what? If you are getting married and you, maybe you're getting married abroad and you want to have a little um, registry office situation, then this would just be the most, I'm gonna use the word again, elegant option. I think there is something so beautiful about this. Yeah, it feels quite bridal. If you are christening your child at this time of year, then this would be a fabulous outfit for that. I just absolutely adore this. It feels a little bit like Josie of 10 years ago, because that probably is when I first started wearing this skirt. If I can find any really old photos when I used to wear this style skirt that I had before, I'll leave them up on the screen here, from many moons ago. This feels, this edition of the little jacket, feels as though it's graduated to adult Josie. Um, and I really, really like it. It still feels, it's flattering because you've got the shapes of your body shown with the skirt. It's actually quite nice on the booty. Um, but then something about this just makes it feel smarter. If I was a professional lady and I was running a team meeting for the day, I'd wear this because I feel like it looks professional. I do often get a lot of questions about workwear, but to be honest, I just don't know because I don't go into an office. I don't feel like that is my forte. Um, but if I was still working in marketing, I used to work in the marketing team at Mulberry, then this would be a work outfit for me. This is what I would wear and I love it. I think it's so beautiful paired with a nice little bag, a little two-tone bag that just feels, it feels perfect. That is just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I love it, love it.
Okay, my darlings, this is the next look. Back very much into my comfort zone with a dress. And what a gorgeous silhouette this dress has. They have really thought about where they put the pleats and the cinching in detail on this dress to give it such a beautifully flattering silhouette. So you can see there's these little darts, little pleats going in to the waist area here, which just really draws the eye and creates the illusion of a really, really refined waist area. You have got little pockets, a really lovely lightweight material that's just hanging so beautifully. And whoops. I have not done the collar <laughs> very well there. And then there's something a little bit formal, more formal, about the sleeve style. It's like a little cap sleeve, which is really cute. I love this colour. Once again, it's making me think of Easter Sunday. It's making me think of spring special events. Again, christen christenings, weddings, um, lunch gatherings, I don't know, just really lovely and elegant. But then also, again, it's smart enough that you could wear it for like a special work day if you're hosting something. Um, if you're hosting a luncheon, then this is just really, really lovely. Again, I'm gonna grab my pink little bag because I think this color combination is just something really, do you know what? It feels like years <laughs> since we've had spring. I don't know if that's just me missing sunshine or, if just obviously so much happened last year with our wedding, it feels like spring. I can't even remember it. So I'm just so excited to start dressing for it this year. And this is bringing all of those spring happy vibes. <coughs> Lengthwise, it's very long. <laughs> the length is very long. I'm stood on my utmost tiptoes right now. So I will have to shorten this. Could probably do. I don't know where any of my belts are. Here's one. You could do a little bit of a belt detail. I don't even know if it needs it um, to draw a little even more attention in to the waistline. Maybe if this dress was white, then it might need that little addition of the belts. Yeah, I do. I like that look. It's even more cinching in effect for the waist. Let me know what you guys think about the colour, the silhouettes, the cuts, the design details of this. I absolutely love it. Up next we have got a fabulous patterned number and forget about spring, this is getting me excited for summer. I just cannot wait for summer events, summer parties, just spending time outside and feeling the warmth on your skin. I'm so excited for it and this is just a perfect, perfect dress for me. I won't beat around the bush. It is giving me major Zimmerman vibes, especially with the lovely um, detailing on the trim here. You've got really beautiful pleated cuffs. Um, that same trim is going up the sleeves. They have not held back on the trim detail. Beautiful floral pattern. We've got almost like a lily. We've got dahlias, we've got roses. Oh, just everything. We've got absolutely everything, even some lupins down there, I think. The pleated detail around the waist is so flattering. Oh, I think I've missed a button there. Um, it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's optimistic, it's fun. Early summer, spring wedding guests. Yes, it's got white in it, but the whole point is that you don't look like the bride. <laughs> so there's definitely enough non-white um, within this. It just, again, has a really lovely fall to it, a really lovely hang. They've added extra panels of fabric into the skirt, which gives it almost like an A-line flick out. So, excuse me, I've not <coughs> got any shoes on, but just to show you the movement, it really does have such an elegant flow to it. It looks and feels like a dress that would be far more expensive and guaranteed people would think that you'd spent, I don't know, like seven, eight, nine hundred pounds on this dress, when in reality, it's a fraction. Yeah, that's just so effective how they've used. Um, it's almost like an upside down Y. Imagine an upside down Y shape of fabric. That's the way they've cut it, which gives it that beautiful movement when you walk. It's just got such an elegant swish to it. Huge fan of this. Okay, I've added shoes and a bag, and this is literally me ready for my next summer event, <laughs> spring summer event. The thing I love about dresses like this is that it's your whole outfit. It's an instant wow piece. You don't really need to think about your outfit as long as you've got some beautiful accessories in your collection, some of which, as you know, I've had for so many years and I just pull them out year after year. <sighs> I love it. It's making me very excited for the warmer months. So there we go. Yay, gorgeous. 
Okay, my darlings, I feel like we are fully into the swing of outfits that are just so me. If you were to come up with my dream dress, this is not too far away from it. So we have got the most perfect, first of all, full white dress, my absolute favorite. Secondly, a kind of brodery cutout floral pattern. They're almost like giant daisies have been cut out. I do love a wrap style. It's kind of like a faux wrap. Um, you've got a, a crossover detail here, but then it stops at the waistband. And I do love a dress that cinches you in around the waist. We don't have pockets and it is perhaps an inch too long for me, but that's nothing that an hour, not even an hour, a little bit of time on the sewing machine can't fix. And the silhouette, Karen Millen are just silhouette perfecting at the moment. It's it's kind of like a mermaid. You've got more of a fit on your hips and then it just ever so slightly, you've got a little bit of pleating here, just gets more relaxed as we go further down. I've popped it on with my all time summer favorite Aquazura green heels because I do quite frankly need the height. So these are a good maybe three inch heel, which is still comfortable enough for um, trotting around, but really, really lovely, it's so elegant, just makes me want to go to Italy, to the lakes, to the south of France, but also just to host friends in my garden again, feeling the warmth on my skin. It's making me excited, that is for sure. Um, yeah, it's got quite a weight to the fabric, so perfect for spring days here in the UK when maybe we don't quite have the warmth, but we do have the sunshine and you need a little bit more on your body. So it's absolutely perfect. It does come with this belt. I would protect, do you know what? Let's try it with my um, leather one. I feel like the obvious thing to do is to use a rattan belt and I absolutely love that, but maybe you could even smarten it up with a leather belt. Or is this too much of a juxtaposition between the smartness? No, I think I think if you imagine a rattan belt, that would probably be a better look, wouldn't it? Let's try that. So let's try this. I know that you'll be asking where this belt is from. This particular belt actually came with a pair of Zimmerman shorts, but I found something very similar on Amazon actually, which I'll leave linked down below. And yeah, that just gives it a little bit more of like a beachy vibe if you are going to a beach or if you just want to be a little bit more relaxed, if perhaps your handbag or your shoes are more of a rattan, then that's a really nice way of finishing the dress, which makes it a little bit more casual. So let me know how you would style it. But for me, this is just summer dress perfection. Okay, my darlings, I'm not gonna lie, this was actually the dress that I was most excited about in the Karen Millen order because, firstly, the colour, and secondly, I just love a dress that I can wear to work events at this time of year that keeps me warm. It's actually fairly covering, um, but it's still, it feels elevated, and yet it's comfortable, hallelujah. This dress just takes all the boxes. The colour I'm in love with, it's like a beautiful dusky pink. Look at that silhouette. It makes my bum look fantastic, I'm not gonna lie. I just love it. It's like the perfect booty dress. Um, I think if you were pregnant, this would be a really nice dress because my friend Kat actually said that the time that she was most comfortable with showing her tummy was when she was pregnant. <laughs> I hope she doesn't mind me showing that, I'm sure she won't. Um, and this would just be such a nice little, here's my cute little bump dress, I just think it'd be adorable. Um, but yeah, it's got the most lovely elasticity to it and once again, I don't know if A-line or mermaid skirts are on trend because, to be honest, this year I've just really not been following the trends. I feel like when you live in the countryside, I tried for, for like three years, I, I tried to stay on top of what was on trend, but now I'm just like, I don't care, they don't affect me. But I do see them when they reach the trickle down of the high street, then I start to pick up on a few things, but it doesn't really bother me if I like how something looks and I like how it looks. Anyway digression. Um, mermaid silhouettes once again. It's almost tight and super elasticated until here and then it's a it's a different direction in the weave of the fabric. So the top part of the dress, the weave goes down or the oh you can see the outline of my bra here but that's just like the intense light coming in. Um, and then here, I don't know if you'll be able to see but it changes direction. So 
I think to be honest, if I was wearing this out to a lunch, I would wear skims underneath just because as you can see in some silhouettes, in some lights, it does show the exact outline of your tummy, which can be a little bit, you know, sometimes we just want to soften that silhouette. But I love it. It's so beautiful. It's so comfortable. The fabric is fabulous. Actually, tomorrow I have got a lovely lunch with a skincare brand, and I think this will be the perfect thing to wear to that. I've got it on, I don't know if you can see, with my Dior heels, which are just lovely. It feels like such an elegant spring outfit. Again, spring, Easter lunch, Sunday roast with family, hosting, um, girly lunches, <laughs> whatever you might be doing, christenings, weddings, it's perfect. Whatever your special occasion is, I think it's lovely. Let me know what you guys think to this. Um, a little word of warning, I um, was quite careful with what hanger I put this on because the way that this fabric is so elastic it does have I would say like a five hour memory and um, it did have a little bit of a poke in the shoulders when I first tried it on actually yesterday but then having left it off the hanger overnight the poke from the shoulders has gone so just be careful what hanger you put it on definitely no wire hangers if you've got a padded hanger then that would be absolutely perfect um, but yeah I absolutely love it I think it's gorgeous and you'll be seeing me wearing this a lot this spring summer Ah, okay, from a very slim-fitting silhouette to a very voluminous one, we are back into the white dress hype, and this one again has got the most beautiful, um, yeah, it is kind of like a broidery fabric, this one is more like little broidery bullseyes, now I'm not sure if, I'm probably not wearing the right bra for this because it's ending up quite low down, um, oh, little glimpse of the brassier, but as you can see it is a kind of ruffle top to the sleeves. I love nothing more than feeling the sun across this whole area with Factor 50 on of course, um, but it just feels so nice when you're sitting in the sun with a glass of rosé with your friends and it just, it just feels lovely. Same accessories that you guys have seen a million times during the lovely summer months. No pockets because it would mess up the um, pattern, but it is a full length dress, not suitable to wear to someone's wedding. Do not wear this <laughs> as a wedding guest, but to summer garden parties and to other lovely events, I think it's absolutely fabulous. For me, actually, the length is perfect. I wouldn't want it to be any shorter. If I was going on holiday and I needed something that I could really quickly, because I mean it's super elastic, fling on over the top of a bikini, if it was a bandeau bikini, this would be fabulous. Um, yeah, I love it, absolutely love it, can't wait for garden parties so I can start wearing things like this, it is just, it's just perfection. Oh my goodness, this feels totally crazy, yes I'm wearing a bikini top because I just thought that that is probably how I'm going to end up wearing these trousers. So the trousers are from Karen Millen, um, the bikini top is Hunza G, which you probably all knew before I even needed to say it, but the trousers I absolutely love. They are, not sure if they are officially linen, but they are definitely... I think they must be. Um, you can see a little bit of sheerness to them so that you can see the pockets, but actually I think that really adds to the design of them. Super lightweight, just perfect summer holiday trousers. I feel like you could of course wear these with a non-bikini crop top here in the UK. You could wear with a white linen shirt, what a gorgeous outfit that would be. If you're going somewhere ultra hot where you need to cover up a little bit more, these would be fabulous because even though you can see the outline of the pocket, um, they're actually not see-through. Like I don't believe you can see my underwear. <laughs> you might be shouting at the screen, Josie, we can see them, um, but I don't think you can. I love where they finish, they are ultra high waisted, like this entire area here is the, the crotch to waist ratio which I absolutely love. Um, and something about the thickness of the waistband feels just exceptionally flattering. It's almost like it focuses the eye on this area here which on most people I think is the slimmest area so super super flattering there's something quite um i don't know i just really love how they look they are plain at the bottom i am on my tiptoes so i am going to have to shorten these because i am very short i 
I, do you know what? I actually took a photo the other day of there was this machine that you could stand on and it told you your height and your weight and your BMI, which is a result of those two things. Um, so somewhere I do actually now know my exact height. I'll leave it on the screen here so that you guys um, can know, just so that you know lengthwise on things. I would say realistically I need to shorten these trousers by two inches, but that's fine because I do have quite short legs and um, you can't make trousers longer and it's very, very easy to shorten these. I know a lot of people use, I think it's called hemming tape or something. I've never done that. I will just whiz over them with the sewing machine. Um, but yeah. I love these. I just hate my hair today. It's just, you know, when it just feels like grubby, it doesn't feel right. But yes, love the trousers. They've got a little gold detail. Gosh, I feel so naked. <laughs> They've got a little gold detail on the bottom of the cord. They're just super comfy. They're like a linen pair of tracksuit bottoms and I love them, love them, love them back into the dresses and I'm realizing now that this haul is very much giving you a lot of wedding guest options and it's never too early to get those locked down. I'm, I'm imagining that most of us weddings are normally like May, June, July, August, September so it's a little bit early but when you find pieces that are this perfect it is worth getting them now especially to avoid turning up in the same dress as somebody else hopefully the other guests are not watching this video um, with that last minute purchase but this is just perfect in my opinion as a spring summer wedding guest look at this gorgeous floral detail again it reminds me of the Zimmerman um, I think it was called something eight super eight collection which I just loved it's very again just like quite nicely fitted on the bottom you've got a very elegant slit down um, at the bottom there, the florals just kind of wash over you to the side there. A little bit of a, a little bit of a hint of florals on this side. Really beautifully fitted, almost like a lovely pencil skirt. And then straight down at the bottom, I have got my little white um, boucle heels on again. And then the top is a lot more detailed. You've got, it's quite like a grandma's curtains, but in the loveliest way possible, style sleeve detail. Do you know what? I would maybe be tempted just to get it slightly cinched in, just like an inch, an inch of pinch around the waist to make it fit perfectly. The colour is pistachio perfection and I love it. It really is fabulous. Now, I just need my friends that are engaged but taking their sweet time and hypocrite alert because Charlie and I took our sweet time between engagement and getting married. But my friends are either married, long gone, locked in, not long gone, like long ago, done and dusted, babies are plenty or they are engaged and taking their time to get married, which is fine, but I would like to wear some pretty outfits, please. So actually I don't have any weddings this summer, which is tragedy o -rama. but if I did, this is what I would be wearing. I may not have weddings in the diary this summer, but there will be a lot of lovely other <laughs> social occasions and this looks actually weirdly, ooh, hang on, I forgot about the waistband. It actually looks really nice without the waistband as well, or as with the one that I showed you a minute ago, added. This isn't the same, is it? <laughs> I'm now questioning myself, am I showing you the exact same dress twice? I don't think I am. Um, no, the other one had more of a, a wrap detail at the front, didn't it? And actually, as much as I said I love the wrap, I actually think I prefer this one without the wrap um, because the fabric does more of the talking here instead of the drape. It was a little bit drapey, wasn't it? This really is <laughs> summer dress perfection for me. I'm going to cut off these because I think they're unnecessary. I've not done the greatest bow in the world, but we're not going anywhere. I'm only, I'm only showing you guys. Um, yeah, these don't really add anything. The waist belt is not going anywhere, so we can ditch that. I like the high neckline. Um, love the fact that you can create a little bit of a puffball with the sleeves. Lengthwise, again, it's pretty much ankle length. 
which is fabulous. This is an everyday summer dress for me. Whatever I've got on in the diary, this is just absolute perfection. The silhouette, once again, really nicely cut on the bodice, giving you quite a cinched in and slim looking silhouette. And then the fact that you've got the button down detail just makes it a little bit almost kind of smarter, feels a little bit work weary. You have, I think, Oh no, you don't have pockets. It's not really pocketable, this kind of broidery material, but with my favorite accessories, <laughs> again, <laughs> it's, just, it's just perfection. Do you know what, now that I've tried on both, I think I'm actually going to return the crossover one and keep this one. I think this one is my preference. I have one more dress to share with you, and it's a hair and makeup ruiner. It's the kind of dress that you put on before doing your hair and makeup. Um, so just warning, if everything becomes flat, <laughs> then you'll know why. But this dress, it's a winner. <laughs> Guys, I lied. There is more than one piece left to share with you. And oh my gosh, this dress, I was not expecting to fall in love with it quite this much. Let me first off say it does need a little bit of altering. It needs a centimetre or so up um, on the sleeves and it does need probably an inch on the waistband. But once those two little tweaks are made, this is my perfect spring summer mega occasion dress. There is something very fabulous about the silhouette, the fact that it's so voluminous down at the bottom. The floral fabric on this is just sensational. It's like a classic English... It is a rose, but it kind of almost looks like a ranunculus because it's so voluminous. The shape of this is just absolutely stunning. If you have got a mega special occasion, even like a university prom or something like that, this is just absolutely perfect. Do take it to a tailor and get it to fit you absolutely perfectly because that really does make all the difference. Um, we have got Charlie's dad's 70th, I'm sure you won't mind me saying, 70th birthday party next month and I feel that this could be the perfect dress for that. That gives me time to get it altered it just it feels so regal there's so much fabric here i love it i almost like when it was hung up i just didn't get that excitement from it but now that i've got it on and i can really see how beautiful it is i'm in love if you guys have got a special occasion um and obviously this would be a fantastic wedding guest dress in my humble opinion you can see my bra poking up at the top and that is literally because my boobs are so small that there's nothing to like push the bra out it's literally like flat against my skin itty bitty titty committee you can let me know if you um <laughs> can relate but yeah if you have got an event in mind and you're going to buy this dress I'd love to know what the event is, like what is the special occasion that you are getting dressed up for this year, let me know, this is just lovely and I adore it. Um, the other two things to share with you before the dress that ruins my hair and makeup are both broidery, we've got another pair of trousers which I think I'm going to love and a little pair of shorts, you could do white linen blouse, you could obviously do bikini top. Um, I might do that little crop top that I shared with you earlier. Let's give that a try. This is definitely not the right top, I don't think, because they're slightly different colours. Um, but it's all about the trousers, and they really are the most fun, perfect little pair of summer trousers. So they've actually got a lining, but only up to here, which is great, because then further down, where there's no lining, and they're just the lovely um, material, it just means that there's a little bit more contrast between the fabric and your skin, so you really get to see the pattern. Love the fact that they are elasticated waistband, which makes them so comfortable. They're the perfect little holiday trousers. Again, if you're looking for something to wear, with a bikini top then I think these would be perfection. Little um, pockets as well, no zip, nice little pleat here to get the shape perfect, really gorgeous, perfect summer holiday trousers. And then these are very very similar but obviously the shorts version. Is my camera on the wonk? <laughs> <laughs> Possibly a little bit. Um, again, I apologise for the combo because not quite the right colour, but we've got the pockets. We actually do have a little zip to get yourself in and out of these, so they're not 
elasticated. To be honest, for me, this outfit is what, I know it's white, which some people will think is bonkers, but I like gardening in outfits like this. I like wearing a little pair of shorts to do the gardening in the summer months. It means you just have lots of sun, sun ex exposed to your skin skin exposed to the sun and it makes me feel good so yeah these are going to be a little pair of beach shorts stroke gardening shorts so here we are with the final piece and it didn't ruin my hair or makeup quite as much as i was expecting um i just had to rebrush my eyebrows and i'm not sure if you're meant to like have that pulled down this panel section so that it fits over your waist probably it's got a really lovely drape to the shoulders so there's actually not a clear area where your shoulder has to sit which almost gives it a little bit of a kind of bat bat like detail which i'm a fan of and um, i always pull my sleeves up though firstly i think it's i can't remember where it was but years and years and years ago did you guys ever used to have that book i think it was called how to walk in high heels and it just was like full of little life hacks and i loved it that was before everyone had bought out like a lifestyle book and i just loved it and it, something in it said that one of the most elegant areas of skin that a lady can show is her wrists and maybe that's subconsciously just in my mind but i do think it's really nice to have this little bit of skin showing also if you're like this there's really not that much skin so i do like to just show a little bit of a little bit of the lower arm area sexy i know <laughs> not um but like the pink dress it's got a lovely fit to it it's got a really nice supportiveness to the fabric i'm finding the white a little bit more forgiving on the tummy the shadows around the tummy are not quite as prominent um, and then this little bit of ribbed detail I think is just I don't know if you can even really see but there's like a ribbed panel here in the middle and it's very nice it enables the top bit to be a little bit looser fitting and then the bottom to be quite just flowy and lovely and natural still quite skimming on the old buttocks which i quite like uh which you probably can't see i can never tell if you're on the wonk until i step back so i apologize if these clips have been making you dizzy but yes it's a really lovely length it's a very elegant and feminine silhouette it feels perfect for the kind of like days that i do in london where maybe i've got a lunch with a brand founder or something like that and i want to look not OTT but elegant and professional is what I'm going for and this is perfect so maybe I'll wear this for my um, day in London tomorrow. We shall see, let me know your preference. Now I was going to keep this on to do the things I need to do which include having lunch but I just don't want to risk um, getting anything on it so I'm going to get a change into something a little bit more casual let me know your favourites from all of these pieces down below I feel like there have been so many gorgeous bits here Karen Millen is having the most amazing season if you're looking for wedding guest outfits ele elevated summer outfits summer holiday pieces um, then they have got you covered so I'll leave all of these bits linked down below and while you're down there if you've not subscribed yet please do hit the subscribe button um, because I'd really like to hit 550 I feel like that's a really nice number and we've been dawdling around the 549 mark for just far too long so if you've been enjoying the videos and you haven't yet clicked subscribe it would truly mean the world to me Okay, I have popped the lovely Easter sage green jumper back on again. I've not got it tucked in um, just because we're <laughs> literally going to be, it's an afternoon of Zoom calls, I want to make my seed crackers, going to have lunch. And I didn't even tell you what fun I've got ahead of me today. So this is totally indulgent and OTT. I've actually got two pampering treatments today this was not intentional but um lovely lucy that owns the lucy app here in the cotswolds which is as i've said um, a few times before it's basically a little bit like the ruby app where you can have therapists come to your face she has organized for one of their new newly bought into the app therapists who does the most incredible facials to come to the house to let me preview the experience um as a little like press treatment today at half past one so i can't wait for that so all of this makeup is going to be a gone and hopefully we're going to be glowing and then 
<laughs> I have also got lovely Lynn, who I've mentioned before comes to the house, she does a deep tissue treatment on me, she does a relaxing massage for my mum, and I book Lynn through the Lucy app, she's coming at 5 o'clock today, so I've got two treatments, which is like the dream, the absolute dream come true. So to start off those cosy spa-like vibes, I've gone for Ultimate Cosy Layers. The trousers are also actually Karen Millen, I've had them for a few years, they are just very nicely fitting, like slim fit cashmere trousers, you can see they've got the little pockets, um, they're not baggy, they're slim fit, they're like leggings, but they're cashmere, as I mentioned I've had them for a couple of years, they might have something similar still on the website, if they do I'll leave it linked down below, um, and I've popped in the cute little pink clip which I showed you from and other stories last week and the pink of the clip and the green of the jumper is making me very happy for spring colours. So I've got a call in 10 minutes which I need to get cracking with so I'll see you afterwards. Okay I've actually got 10 minutes until our teamwork call so what I'm gonna do um, in those 10 minutes or actually nine minutes because that's all I've got on this memory card is start my seed crackers. I have shown you these before but not in a little while. They're just amazing to have firstly for a little savory snack quite boring by themselves but with a bit of hummus like a beetroot hummus amazing with a bit of cheese is the best way to have them or even um with salads you know i like crunchy things and sometimes a salad for me is just a tad boring without something crunchy and i just i just love them i love having them with loads of different things last summer i would make myself for like a brunch i would make myself a frittata i would have seed crackers i would go and pick leaves from the kitchen garden i cannot wait until things start to bloom and i can eat to the things that i've been growing but the great thing about seed crackers is they're very filling they're very good for you because seeds are amazing and they are exceptionally easy to make the only thing, in fact, that you need to remember is a binding seed, aka chia seeds. Maybe there are others, I don't know, I use chia seeds. So you probably are aware, if you've ever had chia seeds in a smoothie and one has got like stuck in between your teeth, which always happens to me, they go like jellyish and gooey when they have been in contact with moisture for a little while. And that gel, when it hardens or gets baked, it acts as a glue. So it binds your seed crackers together so you don't need, ah, sunshine, I've missed you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm desperate. Can you tell I'm desperate for sunshine? So basically, moral of the story is make sure you include chia seeds in your crackers. The other seeds, you can really do what you please. I don't even know what half of these are, they're just the seeds that I have in my cupboard. I'm 97% sure that these are sunflower seeds, and I love sunflower seeds in my seed crackers. They are also just so full of goodness, um, really yummy, really filling, so I'll do sunflowers. Potentially these might be linseed, not sure, but they're going in. This is my seed mix, which might actually just be all of these. So. Probably won't bother with that one. Or is this linseed? I think these are sunflower seeds. Did I say that they were sunflower seeds? Maybe these are... I don't know. I've forgotten. I've forgotten what they all are, but I'm sure you guys know. Basically, just go to your local place where you can buy nice hearty ingredients, whole foods. Not whole foods is in the shop, like whole food <laughs> websites and pick up a selection of seeds. I think these might be flax seeds or maybe these are the linseeds, seeds and they are great to add in. So I'm basically gonna do like a scoopful of each into a bowl, add some water, leave them for 20 minutes so the chia seeds can go gooey and then bake. As well as everything that I just shared with you, I did also just put in a few um, sesame seeds because variety is fabulous. Now I'm adding in a pinch, quite a large pinch because I don't ever find anything too salty of um, sea salt. And then I'm also going to add in just a little pinch of Italian seasoning. I have seen some recipes where people add in garlic granules, but I don't like my seed crackers to be garlicky. 
Now I'm going to add in, basically I'm just going to almost cover these in cold water and then leave them for, to sit for around 30 minutes. That was 200 ml of water, in case you're wondering. Giving everything a stir. Especially the chia seeds, you want them really stirred, stirred, stirred throughout. Okay, I'll leave that for half an hour while we have our team chat and then we'll do some baking. Okay, it's about 30 minutes later or so, actually more like an hour later, and as you just saw, I have spread this as thinly as possible onto a baking sheet, just popping a little bit more salt on for good measure, and now I'm popping it in the agar, which is closest to around, which is close, which is closest to around 160, 170 degrees, and it's going to go in there for nearly an hour actually, but I will check it after 30 minutes just to make sure it's not going too crispy. And then once it's out, we can snap it, break it up and enjoy. We've just had a lovely lunch. I picked up some salad boxes from Dalesford, so didn't need to prepare anything. And now I'm having my pudding, which is a slice of marmalade. Marmalade. <laughs> marmalade. Marmalade? Marmalade. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering. And poppy seed bread. This was 30% off at Dalesford today. So I thought I would treat myself. Mm. Oh my gosh. How is that so yummy? Marmalade and cake. Mmm. Exceptional. So I'm just gonna enjoy that with my coffee. And I'm gonna have a little flick through this, which has been very kindly sent over by the Sarah Raven team. A year full of pots, container flowers for all seasons. So it goes through month by month. And it shows you a little bit of inspo, what you can put in pots, how to create the most beautiful pots, different layered approaches, bulb lasagnas, and all that jazz. And it's just very, very wholesome. When Charlie and I used to live in London, we had a lot of pots in our garden. Um, not that we were renting, but, but they are great if you are renting, so obviously you can take your pots with you. But we just, I guess we had quite a big patio space, so in order to fill it with flowers, we did lots of pots, but... Dahlia's in Pots is one of my favourites. So yeah, this is her new, her new book. I'm also doing today, so it would have been a little while ago by the time this goes live, I think my vlogs are about, about five days in advance right now. I'm doing a, an Instagram takeover for Wild Nutrition today. So I'm basically filming my day and sharing that on Wild Nutrition's page. So everything that I do, I'm having to try and remember to vlog it <laughs> and also share it on Wild Nutrition. So, um, yeah, did I mention what's happening this afternoon? I've got the two treatments. I thought they were at 1.30 and then at 4 o'clock, but actually I've got the facial at 3.30 and the massage at 5, so that's perfect, but it's two different people. So I think I'll set up the facial in our bedroom and then Lynn, who's gonna do my mum's massage first in the pink bedroom. Sorry, I'm just kind of like speaking out loud <laughs> while I plan things. Um, but yeah, very much looking forward to that. Anyway, let's check the seed crackers because I think they might be nearly done. Oh yes. That is crispy. Yummy. So you might remember this from last time I shared this with you, but this is actually the hardest stage because right now, you just have to leave it. You have to leave it for an hour to completely cool down and then break it up once it's completely cooled. If you start trying to do it now, it'll just kind of tear in weird ways. So what time is it now? Two o'clock. So by three o'clock, we'll come back, we'll snap it all up, and there we have our perfect seed cracker. Okay, I reckon this has cooled down enough now. So... 
I'm literally just taking a knife and I'm going to break it into little chunks. Doesn't matter if it does its own thing and breaks into weird shaped chunks because that's all part of the fun. So, oh, this one is almost heart shaped. There we go. There's one of my little seed crackers. And if you get little bits that fall off, just eat them. Oh my gosh, perfect amount of salt. That is delicious. I'm gonna keep them in the Tupperware. They'll probably last a couple of weeks, to be honest. Um, but I will eat them all before they go bad. This lovely bergamot and jasmine candle. It's in this beautiful alabaster um, pot. I think it's from Espa. Yeah, it's really, really lovely. It makes the whole bedroom smell gorgeous. And setting the scene somewhat for my treatment. So I've got my facial first and then my massage. What an absolute pamperama <laughs> I'm having this afternoon. Cannot wait. I always have the tensest shoulders in the entire world. So hopefully this double whammy should sort that out. Okay, look at this fabulous setup. So Bex has prepared the bed. We've got some decree goodies here, which I'm going to delve into after the treatment. The room is smelling gorgeous already from the candle. So by the looks of this, we are going to have a little bit of steaming to open the pores. The facial sounds very heavenly. The products are super multitasking, but we'll have a little look at those after the treatment. Um, Bex was saying that this is a great pre-event treatment because it's going to make the skin glow, be full of hydration. So I am going to lie back, relax, and enjoy my Decree facial, thanks to the Lucy app, and I will see you afterwards. done and now <laughs> I've got my massage what a dream afternoon I wish every Monday afternoon could be like this so that was absolutely gorgeous Bex used uh, steam on my face while she did a double cleanse then we had a peel and then um, sheet mask and then a nourishing mask all from this brand called Decree and she's very kindly left me with some products to try here at home as well so yeah I'll keep you posted on those so that was like a 45 minute to an hour long treatment and now I've got an hour with Lynn this is such a dream end to the day I have got a lot of emails <laughs> I need to catch up on as a result of being on a massage bed for two hours but I am not complaining <laughs> an hour or so later as you can tell from my mane we had a little bit of a head massage as part of that and that was my treat at the end because I did say that my shoulders and my neck were feeling very very tight and I don't even think you can describe that as a massage. <laughs> that was, I don't want to use the word torture, but it was <laughs> quite the um, experience. Let's just say Lynn said I have got an exceptionally high pain threshold. She said that most grown men would be squealing off the table <laughs> if she did what she's just done to me. To them, I had a very intense sports massage on my neck, shoulders, chest, glutes, it was sore, it was very sore. So I'm definitely gonna have to have a, a nice Epsom salt bath <laughs> later on and drink a ton of water. Um, by the sounds of it and the smell of it, Charlie is cooking dinner, which is what we like to, what we like to see or smell or hear. 
But yeah, I think actually I'm going to end the vlog here so I can just have a very, very chilled evening and I'm definitely in a bit of a state at the moment. I'm realising as well just how many pampering experiences you've seen in the vlogs over the last, last few. Um, and I feel very, very grateful for the press treatments and obviously booking my own treatments in as well. I just think that it's so worth it. I love a little bit of pampering, a little bit of massage, and if you do workouts as often as Charlie and I do, then I think it's just so important to look after your body with treatments like that as well. So that's my excuse anyway. The reality is I just love them. So there we go, my darlings. I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon in the next one. Good night. Mm -hmm.